Congratulations for making it this far. Um, not long to go now. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the venue and the hospitality today um, and had a good time. Just a note uh, from the catering um, that any food and, and catering that we have left over is going to be packaged up and donated to Oz Harvest. Um, it's a wonderful cause. Um, they're a food rescue organisation that saves surplus food and deliver it to charities and people in need. Go check out their website. Um, that's what we're doing with um, the unused food from the conference. Um, and we really try and do this every time to make sure that we are um, as sustainable and um, ethical as possible. I've just come from our uh, Birds of a Feather font sponsor. <laughs> Uh, where, my, where my parting words to that was thank you. Thanks so much to our sponsors. Um, and I, I know I get up here at the start and the end of every day and say that, but they really do make this event possible and they make uh, our community uh, move forward. So thanks to the, the organisations that are up there. Congrats to Salsa Digital and Civic Theme um, for the very first Drupal's Got Talent game show today. Well done to the contest contestants. Uh, fantastic results and it was, uh, it was awesome to have something a bit different and a bit exciting happening. So um, thanks for that. <laughs> Our gold sponsors, uh, Amazie.io, Department of Finance, uh, GovCMS, Morphed and, and Platform SH. Um, and a big thanks to our uh, Splash Awards sponsor, Ironstar. That was a really nice. And we'd like to see the Splash Awards continue and grow. Um, and we're open to feedback on that. I had a good time last night at the networking event. Um, the networking event is, is key for us, and thanks to Acquia for, for stepping up and making that happen. Um, thanks to, to Sparks um, for the merchandise sponsor. Um, and uh, I have depended on the lifeline um, from the barista crew over the last couple of days. Um, I didn't get a final count today, but they served 297 espresso coffees yesterday and last count they were heading towards 200 and and still serving for today so um big thanks to technocrat for making that possible now tomorrow um, we have the sprint sponsored by previous next um we have the full uh uh complement of 50 participants signed up that long-term um in-depth commitment from previous next to, to contrib is legendary um not just for the impact on the drupal project but the openness and willingness to spend their time bringing people along on that journey. And a final shout out to our silver sponsors, um, Annex, Freesource, Oxide Interactive, and Skipper. Yeah, nice work. I've been getting alerts from our media sponsor, The Drop Times, about the um, articles they're posting about us. And like, I'm really proud of our little, our little corner of the world and our community, um, and to get that world out to the rest of the world who haven't had the benefit um, of, of our wisdom and experience. So what's next? Well, um, I would like to invite Tim up on stage to have a chat about one of the things that's coming up next. Thank you. Uh, I'm Tim Doyle. I haven't, met, I haven't met everyone. I try to meet as many people I, as I can since I'm here. Uh, I'm with the Drupal Association. Uh, and I asked Dave if I could say a few words. And he said, keep it under 30 minutes. I said, no problem. So <laughs> let me start. Um, how many, for how many people is this your first uh, Drupal South. Okay. Okay, it's my first Drupal South. I, let, let me say wow. I mean, the, the energy and the excitement, I'm really impressed by the Australian New Zealand community and putting this on for so long since 2008. Uh, what a fantastic event. And it's really a sign of a, of a fantastic community. So uh, congratulations to not just the organizers, but you all for attending. Uh, I've been through a lot of several local events, and uh, this is by far the one that has, has had the most energy and uh, and and um, excitement among the attendees. So great job, thank you. <laughs> on on my way here, uh, I stopped by India and spent some time in India and met with the Drupal communities in India. Um, There's a lot of energy and excitement for Drupal there. I went to Singapore and, and met with some community members there. There's a lot of excitement there for Drupal. Uh, Dries on the way in, he, he alluded to it on the way, on his way here, he went to Japan and met with community members and there's a lot of excitement for Japan. Um, and what it told me at least, and I'm, I'm still relatively new to the Drupal Association, I've been there about a year and a half, 
Um, and one of the feedback I got is that we are very focused on the US and we need to branch out. So I've made that a commitment to do that. And just those travels here and, and listening to Dries told me that there's so much uh, excitement and uh, energy in the Drupal community in, in this area of the world that we need to do something. So I'm very proud to announce uh, that we are working on a DrupalCon Asia in conjunction with Drupal South that will hopefully be inaugurated uh, in the next 12 months. Uh, yes, we're, we are target, I mean, we're targeting Singapore as a central location. Uh, there are dates, likely, not locked in yet, um, but as they're locked in, we'll announce it. But we're announcing this here first. No one else knows about it, except for you all. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and, and we hope that it brings, it, we hope it captures and is, the, is a summit type of experience that is in Europe and North America for the energy of all the communities that around this part of the globe can come together globally to learn, to share, to network, uh, and, and, to, and to kind of share in our, in our collective commitment to Drupal. So real excited for this. Thank you. And I look forward to working with the Drupal Association, looks forward to working with the uh, Drupal South Committee on putting on uh, DrupalCon Asia. Yeah, I, th I think for, for us in this region, um, Asia's right on our doorstep. We already have a lot of good relationships and a, and a lot of good ties with organizations um, in that region. And so I think it's a really exciting um, addition to um, our calendar. So thanks for putting that together. And thanks, thanks Mike, for um, fostering that through to, a, to a, a feasible, reasonable, and happening thing. So nice work. Closer to home, um, we're, we're thinking about doing this sort of thing again next year. <laughs> Anyone keen? Yeah. 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 But where? <laughs> Maybe the worst kept secret of today, but we are hitting. <laughs> yeah. Hitting to the vibrant metropolitan center of Melbourne. Um, dates TBC, um, we're assessing venues at the moment, um, assessing numbers, and so keep your eyes peeled and stay in touch, um, and we'll be announcing those developments as they, as they come through over the next wee while. But I'm really looking forward to that. I've had a fantastic time here in Sydney. Um, love coming over to Oz, um, wonderful place, wonderful people, and I'm really excited about next year. So, hope you guys are excited too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.